Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I am Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and this is The Last of Us Part 2. We're in the St. Mary Hospital, and it's two years before the uh, the events of the, uh, well, the base, the base game, I should say. And I have no idea whether this is the supposed to be the hospital from the end of the original Last of Us, The Last of Us Part 1, if I can call it that. Which would make it interesting. Left a lot of stuff behind. So we're playing still as Ali. And I feel like we're gonna get some sort of uh, heavy revelation. Maybe the fact that Ali already knew what Joel did in the Firefly Hospital, if this is the case. But she's clearly looking for something. This is a big hallway, by the way. Look how wide this place is. There's a few rats over there, but we're just going... Okay, we're going room by room, but these seem to be weapon and our ammo cases again, so definitely not just a hospital. And then we find these records. Aha, uh -huh. so that must be the same hospital, because that's Ellie's arm, definitely. The growth has clearly mutated. Let's see if the test results contribute or corroborate our theory. This is big. Let's read all that. Okay, yeah. That's just the only thing we can read. And we can see it in her brain. And there we have the x-ray of her brain as well, showing it in the same position. Okay. So, pretty sure that this is supposed to be that hospital then. The hospital from the end of The Last of Us Part 1. We can still open up drawers and there's another note in here. Let's check that out. By this time tomorrow we will have altered the course of history, Jay. Hmm. Well, there has, there has always been the theory that... I mean, I, I think I, I, I uh, talked about this at the beginning of the playthrough as well. That Joel was in the right because the Fireflies had no idea what they were doing. They were just gonna kill Ellie and get nothing from it. Thereby killing the only hope humanity has left. So that's definitely the Firefly symbol. Another note over here. So it seems like this is going to be a lore-heavy episode. Story-heavy episode. Dawn. You know, I'm glad I catalogued and collected all this rare hospital equipment. As And as soon as I'm done, I, hate it, I hear... Jesus Christ. I hear that there's no use for it anymore. I cannot fucking believe you guys voted to disband. I get it, this was a miracle that slipped through our fingers. It's fucking shitty. But the whole world is shitty. How can we give up like this? What's... what now? Settle in quarantine zones? Join some third-rate resistance groups? Fuck that. Someone still has to care. I'll spend the rest of my life trying to find them or die trying. Scott. Okay, from Scott to Dawn. And he must have been one of the remaining fireflies that still wanted to go on after uh, Joel's rampage through the building. But, radioactive door. With a cleaning room behind it. Uh, probably to prepare for an operation. So I'm assuming there won't be anything here. We just need to go through the next door. Okay, that was a very creepy... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, now now I recognize it definitely. So this is the place where Joel shot the surgeon. And um, yeah, the game ended last time. Because we even see the blood stain over there. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So Ellie clearly was looking for answers. The question is, did she find them? There's a duffel bag on the floor. Is there anything else aside from that? Doesn't seem like it, so let's just open that up. And see what's in there. So probably her original clothing and, aha, uh -huh, a tape recorder. Girl. They said 
Even if we found her, or by some miracle found someone else that's immune, it make no difference. Because the only person who could develop a vaccine is dead. Or by some miracle found someone else that's immune, it make no difference. Miracle found someone else that's immune, it make no difference. Because the only person. Ellie! <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Oh, come here. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? Running off in the middle of the night like that. You talk to me. You don't just leave me a goddamn note. <laughs> Tell me. What happened here? The real story this time. If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. But if you tell me the truth, I'll go back to Jackson. No matter what it is. Just say it. Joel. Making a vaccine. Would have killed you. So I stopped them. Don't you fucking touch me! I'll go back. But we're done. And finally, Ali knew the truth, but the timeline kind of confuses me here. Because they were still... It sounded like in Jackson when we started the game, the fight was pretty recent. But the beginning of this scene said two years ago. And I don't think we spent that much time going towards Seattle, traveling to Seattle. So they were adults with one another for over two years. Well, for two years. But it's weird that they, they <laughs> Naughty Dog kept that from us. Because I feel like that would have been a way better way to structure the story, just doing it chronologically. I mean, the only thing that would have been weird from a gameplay perspective would have been the fight against the bloater. And we could have done that in a flashback. But everything else had very little to no combat, so... I feel like we could have done that chronologically. Yeah. So we're still at theater again. And this seems to be the seems to be the dressing room. No resources over here. And I think everything else we checked already, unless they've added some more collectibles right now. Um the more the merrier. Hey look, Joel. It's your favorite. 
Is that? That kind of looks like Nathan Drake, by the way. Curtis and Viper 4. Okay. Um, movie poster. Let's open up the door. And... Is this still that that entry hallway of the... Or are we behind the scenes right now? It feels like it. With all the, the pieces and everything. Oh, uh, this seems like it's set up to be a combat arena as well, by the way. This isn't... Wait, is, there was a door over there, because I feel like the game is pointing me in this direction. Uh, so let's try... No. So these are our inoperable elevators. Okay, so... We definitely need to go up here. And then a bunch of equipment. And for some reason, red lights. I don't like red lights. The few times we had red lights, there was like a big fight between Dina? clickers Jesse? and uh, WLF soldiers. So let's open this up. Oh. Who are those two? Yeah, why is it so quiet? Maybe Dina just told Jesse about her pregnancy and they're just talking to one another silently. This place is pretty big, so her just yelling out for. Dina and Jesse is probably not audible throughout the entire building, so let's just check out the door over here and check up on our two friends, who are hopefully not brutally murdered. No, okay, there he is. Okay, does he already know now? He seems to indicate that he does. Dina still looks pretty bad. She's sweating. She had a rough night. Barely could get her to keep water down. You should have woken me up. Is she pregnant? Touche. Yeah. I get why you came out here. But we gotta take her back. She needs real care and she's not gonna get that. Yeah, I know. Just leave Tommy. He's out here because of me. Maybe you could take her back. She's not gonna leave without you. Yeah. Screw it. Let's get Tommy. This aquarium that girl told you about. Tommy hasn't found Abby yet. We'll post up there until he does. And you're good with leaving Dina by herself? Her orders. Okay. Let's go tell her we're leaving then. I'll just meet you up front. Yeah. Okay. So back on patrol with Jesse. But Dina doesn't look good. I feel like this is still The Last of Us. At least one of them isn't gonna make it. Hi. Hey, babe. I need you to lock the door for us. I always feel like we kind of miss a sense of scale, of time scale, basically. So how much time has passed since we've entered Seattle? I know the game says day three, but I feel like a lot more has happened than just the along the two shore. days. Um, down this way. Yeah. Ugh. How does anyone stay dry in this city? 
Especially the um, the amount of time that passed between us leaving Jackson and arriving in Seattle, that's really, really unclear okay. right now. Go for it. But there we go. And okay. up and over. And we could have... We couldn't go this way before, so it's actually funny that we now have Jesse, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to uh, scale this, because this nice. is the same starting spot, the theater is right over there, so... Moving up. I do love that the world is a bit more connected than in the, the previous game. What did you tell Dina? That we're hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't... tell her you knew. That's what you're... I wasn't. I wasn't? Ah, he wasn't suggesting that. I'm a wolf face. I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joel had a uh, falling out with some fireflies. No, former fireflies. What kind of falling out? Uh, he was a smuggler. And they disagreed about some goods. I broke out, some of them died. Guess they wanted payback. Damn. Did that change anything for you? Nope. I need to get clear on something. When we find Tommy, you're good with going home. Yeah. You'll be leaving some of those assholes alive. Dina should be back in Jackson. Okay. Good. That is interesting. So, Ellie now kind of confirms that Abby must have been one of the fireflies, which is why they tried to kill... Well, they, they actually managed to kill Joel. Um, that does make me wonder, was the voice on the tape recorder Abby's as well? Because it kind of sounded like her. I wanted to talk about that before, but of course, because of all the dialogue, I didn't want to interrupt. But it did kind of seem like that was her as well. Can we actually go in here? It doesn't seem to be anything. Aside from a piece of wood... And a half a canister, but the piece of wood I don't want to use as a melee weapon. The axe is just as good. So, is that supposed to be M MDI? Shorthand for, I don't know what this is supposed to be, because I think the previous building also had that on top of it. So, this seems to be Shit. blocked off completely. Locked. I think we can cut through that convention center. Let's try it. Wait, what was that noise? There was like a really weird loud noise over there. Um, don't know if they are infected in this area. Probably. Uh, seems to be empty for now. Which means that I can start looting. So a little bit of ammo and Jesse seems to have found a way out of here. Ooh, and a full pack of duct tape. That's always nice. We can make more arrows with that if I have enough uh, stabby parts. Uh, and this one was jammed, he said. So that means that we probably... Oh, we can actually try that, but... If we push... If we both push... Okay. Can't we just push what that happening? away? Told you. It's yeah. Checking. Yeah, I know, Jesse. I'm they're gonna come back to Jackson after us. What do you mean? I mean, we're going through a lot of their people. In their city. Because of what they did. This place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It is a weird... I've, I've talked about this How before. It's a weird this? difference between Tell the two factions. Days. When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. You've been impressed. I bet. You don't cross that girl. Indeed. So it is a weird difference between the factions between Jackson and the WLF. Jackson... The people from Jackson seem to be a lot friendlier at first glance. So they do want to help people that come in. They take in strangers while the WLF, indeed as Ellie says, tries to kill um, everybody who they come across. Although they did seem rather friendly... Uh, amongst them ch each other as well, so I don't know. It's still a very difficult debate um, Resource wise, we're actually pretty good 
I could make, yeah, I could make some arrows. But that's about it. And I can't take that those rags with me, so that's fine as well. That's also in a wide open area. But this seems to run into a dead end, so let's just grab everything here first. That was really aggressive, Ellie. Did you want to grab... Ooh. Uh, so this is probably the non... Uh, not important part, although the fact that you can go underneath there kind of indicates that this might be... If that drops down on top of me, I'll, I'll just check this room first. Okay, so it does seem that way, so we can push that aside and actually get out that way, but... Is there here? Yeah, yeah, I know. I need to give you a hand, so that's more stabby stabby. And then we can go... I need to go over there. To be able to crawl underneath there and maybe we can find some more supplies because the game just told me as well that i have like a lot of pills so maybe i should check that out as well so 115 pills i haven't done anything with those before um the stability is cool but the improved explosives is going to be really really cool as well so improved molotovs plus 50 percent flame radius good against infected and then craft more trap mines is going to be really good as well uh, and then the explosive arrows too, so there uh, we go in there, and then 25 for the last bit. Okay, we're getting through those uh, skill trees rather well. I'm actually, I don't even have that many abilities left to buy, so I don't know if that's an indication how far we are in the game. And there we have a workbench as well, but I guess we'll see. Tormentra trading cards is, yeah. A woman with very long hair, like stealing memories or something, or power. Allowing her to convert mental anguish of others into kinetic energy. Okay, the worse the pain, the more powerful the result. Definitely a villain. Okay, so we have more pills over here, and then we can use the crafting table. There we go, so we have 69, that's probably still not enough to get that scope, because I definitely want to have the scope, so that's 80, so yeah. Let's wait until we can get that, because I don't think there are any damage. I don't know what the rangefinder is, by the way. Is that something cool? Add a rangefinder to automatically mark the distance of enemies on the reticle. Oh, that's even cooler. So we can do proper headshots, because that's actually a big difference between The Last of Us Part 1 and The Last of Us Part 2. In 1, we could actually use the... We actually got the arc of the bow shot. So you can more easily shoot, uh, hit headshots, while you can't really do that with this bow. Okay. But that upgrade might actually uh, be able to do that. So is Jesse going to help, or is he just going to stand around? There he is. He was trying to follow me, so let's just push. Push. There we go. Although it doesn't seem to be that possible at the They're moment. Here. Okay, so that's... A custom animation to go through there. Ask. Why didn't she tell me about it? The pregnancy. Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it. Shh. Who did you hear it from? Okay, so more WLF. Make sure the carry is clear, wait for the other unit. And then take the fight to the dark. So last time it won't be like last time. Okay, so there's two over I'm there. We're all nervous. They have the whole coast covered. They're gonna shoot us out of the goddamn water. Hey, have faith. You seem like them. Oh god. Oh, he doesn't die anymore. He doesn't die anymore from a single shot. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's reset. Okay, every, every single encounter at the first time actually just goes very, very badly. God damn it, why didn't he die from a single shot? There we go. So definitely my fault. I was moving up a little bit too aggressively. Who did you hear it from? Because I thought they were only going to the right, but there were definitely multiple people here. Um, I think there was another one coming out of the building, right? So there's at least four. I just waited around a little bit to see what would happen. 
Do I still have a bottle? I do, but I don't think I'll need a bottle. I'm just going to stab her in the face when she comes along here. He's probably going to turn around by the time she gets here. There we go. Fight. Got a visual. Quick, let's check it out. I got your back. Um, Anila's dead. I'll see what's up. I'll keep an eye out. It's not right That's more one over there. Roger that. I think I got his leg there. Yeah, he's dead. Trying to finish the job. Where the hell is? Let's just go over here. Okay, so there's one over there. Let's swap. Let's swap to that one. That's one in the face. And then that guy is gonna... Oh, what? There we go. I think he got a shoulder and that's impressive. I know you're out there. You do? And there we go. And we can grab it and then stab it in the face. There we go. Jesse moved up. I don't know if that means that there are more enemies. That'll do it. Ah, okay, he's relaxing. Okay, I was looking at him to see if uh, there were any more enemies. So trigger happy. They're at war with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about seraphines or something. Seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. So that, that's actually a lie, because we heard them call themselves the Seraphites, and so did Ellie, so that's a bit weird that she doesn't suddenly doesn't realize that anymore. Um, we can go over here, and I'll just start looting the place, because, uh, yeah, everybody's going to be dead again. So. I've definitely found enough ammo to actually restock completely, even ended up a bit on top, aside from the revolver ammo. I know, game, stop giving me hints. I don't need them. It's just that I'm looking around for stuff. Um, so yeah, the game is kind of generous, even on this difficulty. And I don't really feel like I need that many bullets. But, aha, so there's another conference. There's a lot of conference centers in here. So that's Come, Come, Come Expo? Come Expo? I don't know what that's supposed to be. So 2013, of course, because that's when the infection hit. But it says Come Komi Expo, I think. That sounds like something the Russians would go to, but there we go. Komi Expo, which means that we should probably head in there. Um, although there is another route over here, but it might also be blocked off. Not entirely certain. There is an area back here, but ooh. Ooh. It actually, actually looks pretty good. It's like overgrown a lot. There we go. I don't know if Ellie just went into stealth automatically, that's a bit weird. But an old conference center, an old expo. And long grass. I don't know if that's an in all these posters. Jesus Christ. It's a bunch of comics. Wait, what was happening here? A gathering for people who were really into this stuff. Like you, basically. Yeah. You were born in the wrong time, man. I want to see the Savage Starlight Expo. Is it somewhere over here? Ooh. Well, that's a corpse. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it seems like we're just literally cutting through the building. Because we're going up and over. And then we have... Ooh. That's a bright yellow car hit by a tree. And it's probably not a taxi, because um, I think you can only have yellow taxis in New York, right? Can anybody from America confirm that for me? But I think that's the case. Ooh, ah, that's, that's just Jesse. I thought there was somebody on the other side. Well, there was somebody on the other side, but it was just Jesse. What were you saying before about Dina? You said she'll tell me when... Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't. Okay, that was a weird move. Jesse, why are you running into me? Um, I'm guessing Jesse...
goes in the right direction, although seems like that's going to be the right direction. Ooh, a Ferris wheel. Look at this mess. The aquarium. It's right next to that Ferris wheel. He's hoping Tommy has the same info. Yeah, let's hope so too. But it's weird that we haven't seen anything about Tommy just yet. Damn it. I feel like Tommy might be dead. Looks like we're swimming. Like everybody in this game. Everybody keeps dying. There's like, there's a car in here. Can I just dive into to the car? Hello? Anything next to the car? No. Yeah, the route forward seems pretty straightforward, so let's just go. Oh, look at that. The uh, algae just disappear when you're swimming. It looks a bit weird, but it's, it's nice, I guess. Fun little details. We can go up there, or we can go over here. Oh, oh. Oops. Infected. Okay. He seems to be running around, or she. Do, do we need to go down here? I, I mean, I can hear them, but I can't really see them at the moment. So let's just drop down. Oh, that was a stalker. Okay. So there's stalkers and clickers here, because we can hear the clickers. I wonder if the stalkers can actually see the flashlight, because it sometimes feels like they can. There we go. That's with the silencer. So that should not have triggered the clicker. And then the clicker is supposed to be around here somewhere. So there it is. Oh, there's another stalker. Oh, damn it, he's going to see me. I don't know if that clicker... I don't know if that clicker can actually reach me. Get over here. There we go. There we go. No, the problem. I think it is. Yeah. I think so. Okay, so I think I'm gonna swap back over to the bow. Because the bow could have taken out the stalker silently. I didn't have it equipped, and that was a bit of a hassle to get through. So we get another rifle back. Let's see, we can make more um, arrows. Oh, I might as well do that. And I think I'm also going to make another silencer, since they are a lot longer. I think that's five shots, right, with the silencer. Yeah, we can use them for five shots, which is really, really handy if we don't have any arrows anymore. Because that way we have an alternative for our silent ranged weapons, so... Let's just check this area out. Feels like there might actually be something here. So this seems to be quite a big area. It's a parking garage again. And we can get on top of this ramp and there's a corpse here that has... Where? Okay. Um... And there we go. Oh. And there we go. Okay. I was kind of caught off guard there. I wasn't, I wasn't sure how to deal with that because there were multiple stalkers there at one okay. go. Okay. Now that's it. Uh, I have a new machete here, so that is fine. So we can this use that. Like and yeah. then a, a few more resources. I Make think I might right. as well use my uh, health kit to heal up because there's another one over here. And um, Ellie and Jesse just confirmed that this is an optional area, which is good. And then to whatever sorry asshole reads me, can barely keep my hands steady, but okay. Um, but, 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 but everyone on base needs to know. I got ambushed on my way to relieve Misha at the monorail lookout. One of the scars, I'd swear he looks just like our boy Gray. Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in that fucking snake's face for me. And tell Mish I'm sorry, I tried to hustle. Jensen. Okay, so definitely hearing about the scars again. So, we'll probably bump into them again. 
Because we haven't seen that leader uh, character any any anywhere just yet. So that uh, that woman with the scar on her face, and I'm guessing she'll be a part of the story. Go team Jackson. And high five. Fuckers. Couldn't have said it better. These areas are really big, by the way. Every single time I think, okay, we uh, we got this, we got this. Ah, there's just a pipe over here, but we just got the machete. The pipe is just an inferior thing to me. Let's just climb up here. And then what? Because there's like all these little ledges and things around here. But they don't, don't seem to do anything. Of course, we don't. it doesn't need to do anything, but... There's just multiple ways to going up here, which is cool, I guess. Aha, and we can go over here, but what happens if I go in this area? Because I haven't, I haven't checked this out yet. Okay, apparently I'm just dragging this out a lot longer than it needs to be. So let's just go over here, get up, just check the corner really quickly, dead end, and then we can pull this down, I suppose. Let's see. Ah, I thought we were just gonna pull down the, the wooden plank. But this is fine, I suppose. Going inside of the building again. This seems like another bookstore. I would have come, you know. If you told me you were leaving. I just... I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up the joke. What happened to him was messed up. I would have come. Okay, fair enough. Joel liked you a lot too, you know. He used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? I mean, you're handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. What, Asians? Yeah, that's obviously what I meant. <laughs> Obviously, indeed. I mean, you you did call, catch them in the act, Jesse. So that's well, not not entirely in the act, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so big open bookstore. Doesn't seem like there's enemies just yet. So this seems to be another good opportunity to start looting the area. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's like a children's story time corner here as well. This is really nice, Alice in Wonderland style. Messed up, putting fungus in the kids section. Mushrooms didn't exactly carry the same meaning back then. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, they were they were kind of fun. Kids used to think these were cute, indeed. So that's Did that. Your favorite book as a kid? Yeah, Battle Ghosts. It's about these space marines who fight off ghosts. Alien ghosts. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd like. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with... Yeah, we'll chit-chat later. Ah, okay, there was an option to talk further about that, apparently, but I was holding this thing. Um, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it hurt? Asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. And on the other side, oh god. Um, I know you're upset. What if we talked like this for a bit? Would that help? Okay. I didn't mean to grab you like that. I hope I didn't hurt you. Even mommies are scared sometimes. I'm okay. I'm really scared too. I get how angry you are. I miss him too. But you can't scream like that. I know. I love you very much. I won't let anything happen to you. I love you too. Aww. Conversation between... Mom and child. Um, Jesse, are you still up for that conversation? Because I feel like, yeah, kind of missed that, but it wasn't my fault. I hope that's not a collectible again, because I hate, I hated that in the previous game, that that was a requirement for getting all the trophies. Because uh, sometimes, if it happens like that, you can't even help it. Help it. Okay, so let's take the escalator upstairs. So it doesn't seem to be anything upstairs aside from... Ooh, gold. Well, this is gonna be something, isn't it? Is that the mommy and the and the child? Because that's gonna be pain. There's an explosive arrow here. I should probably start using those if we're gonna get these for free. Oh god. Oh god. 
Yeah, this... They were executed. This place is fucked. Blood's still wet. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. But those are... I think these are scars, right? Because those are the hoodies of the scars. So that's probably scars killed by the WLF. I mean, we can't really judge. We, we killed both factions already, so... Doesn't, doesn't really give us a, any good reason to start judging now. Okay, there's a completely charred corpse here as well, so that is all nice and well. Yeah, indeed. What happened up here? I have really no idea. For each other. I think it goes back years. Wonder how it all started. Yeah. Because it feels like, yeah, there's a common theme in the story at the moment that working an eye for an eye doesn't really um, create a better place, if I could say it like that, because of course if we keep doing that, then after Ellie's done with her revenge spiel, there's going to be somebody else who wants revenge on her, and so on and so forth, and so the cycle of revenge continues. So, I'm wondering if we got a little bit of control over Abby before, so we can start to understand why she did what she did, and that we finally can actually break that cycle of revenge and not kill her. Although, I mean, we killed like hundreds of WLF soldiers already, so I don't feel like that's an option anymore. Um, so now we're at the other side. I'm just going to check over here, because this... <sighs> not this way. Uh, no. this way. No, definitely not this way. Box around? I don't know what that means. You know. Can you take three right turns around a block instead of just turning left? Okay. Let's box around this area. It's a thing. It, it is a thing. There! Go get oh, God. Got him! Sweep the area for survivors. Why? Good job, boy. Okay, do we need to kill these people? I'm ready to do this. Sounds pretty bad. I'm sure it ain't easy driving a boat back here. First one on get your chance. We all will. Why does the, she sound like really oh there she is. Okay. Um Oh god, there's another dog. Is there another dog? Kill the dog with a silencer, so I don't think they'll know where we are. And if I just take out that guy up there with the um, the rifle, oh wow! Okay, never mind. Um, I think I'm gonna use a Molotov. I don't think she can see me over here, right? And I'm wondering if I can just now swap over to the rifle. There we go. I think that's supposed to be it. So Molotov definitely killed... Oh, I feel really bad about this. Oh, I know it's a video game, but god damn, that was horrible. Oh, okay, so there's somebody still over there. I don't have a throwable. On, start a sweep. Might be scars around might be scars around i mean five of your friends just died and you're just wondering about scars i think you you need to get your priorities a bit straight buddy there we go straight in the face straight in the noggin she was talking to somebody so i'm wondering if there are more people here Okay, so I moved around the right side of the area. And there's definitely somebody still looking for us. Probably should take a look in the buildings here as well. I think the back window is open. So might as well go inside of here. Take a look around. Well, I just circle around this guy. So I can take him out. There we go, throwable. Exactly what we need. So let's just move to the center again. Should be able to see him here. Oh, there he is. Okay. So he's coming around the corner. Just around the corner. 
And there we go. Just followed them completely up the stairs. Dumbass. And there goes his corpse. And that might be it. Otherwise, they probably spot us. I think that was the last yeah, one. indeed. Yeah. I think it's so too. I really appreciate Jackson, man. Me too. Okay, so there's more rifle ammo over here, so I'm just gonna loot the entire area because I feel like we're gonna be able to fill up on our resources again completely after we are uh, done with this area. See, I mean, we're literally in a fabric store and the amount of rags is really, really low, which is kind of weird. That was actually a nice amount of pills. Let's check that out because I think listen mode movement speed up or just survive a lethal hit. Or craft more smoke bombs. I actually haven't crafted smoke bombs so far. Because I don't know what they actually require. Um, other than that, I probably should go with the inventory upgrade for the explosive arrows. There we go. And then I'm going to go for the stability increase. So improve aiming stability and accuracy while moving. So that's really good. And now we're going to yeah, go into crafting more arrows. So I feel like we're going to be good resource-wise because of all the upgrades we've done so far. Okay, this is totally not creepy at all. <laughs> Just two mannequins, so I'm supposing this is a clothing store. Although it's really weird that these mannequins are still posing like that in the post-apocalypse. Feels just, just a little bit weird. Um, can't deny that. There seems to be a lot of ways in and out of this building. Wait a second, where the hell am I? Because I'm really confused now. Because I felt like I just... Oh, is this the way out of it? Is this the way out of it? I'm really confused now. So I think that's the building I was in before. Yeah, okay, so this wraps around itself, kind of. Um, but it doesn't seem like I can actually go up there, so I can't go higher than that. So this seems to be, at least for now, the correct way forward. So I've cleaned out that entire clothing store, so textiles, definitely. And if we, like Jesse says, box around the area, we should be able to get around here. So I'm guessing we can go underneath the bus, because the, the current of the river goes in that direction. And there is, there is an area over here. Let, let me go over here. Because there might be stuff around here and I want to grab everything I can. If I'm ever in the post-apocalypse, if I'm still around by then, I'm going to need like 15 backpacks to carry all the shit that I want to carry with me. Because hey, I'm a hoarder. Why don't we head up to that bridge and get our bearing? Yeah, good thinking. What, what bridge exactly? Is that a bridge? Is, it, is there a bridge over there? I don't see a bridge, but okay. I'll, I'll follow. Oh, this bridge. The building bridge. Okay. I don't trust this area one bit. I don't know if it's the creepy mannequins all over the place, but... I Abby picked the aquarium on purpose because it's so damn hard to get to. Maybe. Or maybe there's going to be people instead of mannequins in a second. Just waiting for me to pass by. Okay, so there's a workbench over here. I did get a few more parts along the way, but I don't think it's going to be... up. Ah. Never mind, I was going to say it's not going to be enough, but then we just picked up 15 of them. So, ah, that... That I always forget if I go with the pistol in that thing, she removes the silencer. But if I go to the rifle, I can add the scope. And the scope is really cool. So there we go. And that's my first weapon fully upgraded, I think. There we go. Mechanist. Yeah, I kind of changed my uh, trophy pop-ups to be uh, less visible. So it's black now. And there we go. A fully upgraded bolt action rifle. And only eight parts left, so I can't really do anything else. Um, but yeah, it's a really weird system. I didn't really like it in the previous game. Well, it, it was a bit better in the previous game, actually. Because in the previous game, you had to uh, you had different versions of certain upgrades. So even if you did the fire rate upgrade, for example, you could do it again to improve it even more. But in this game, there's only one for each aspect of the gun, which means that you automatically go for the upgrades you want to go with first. And then the further you get into the game, you get less rewards because the upgrades you're going for aren't the ones you really need because you took those first. It's a, a really weird counter counterproductive system. 
but uh, going further up, it seems to like weave in and out of itself. So I'm actually, wait a second, was there a room to the side? Yeah, this. What's this? Because we can go up here as well, or does that just loop around to the same area? I think it might. Yeah, because we're going up, up, and then that's the same door. Okay, okay, never mind. And now we have another hole up top here. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything around here, so dropping in. And everything stays quiet again. We're full up on everything. I don't know why she... Ah, because she always removes the bullet that's already loaded, so for some reason... That also, it's it's go, it's pushing realism a bit too far. So we used the bolt action rifle on the workbench. It was fully loaded, but because it was a, a round in the chamber, she removed that separately. So when we went away from the workbench, we now only had five bullets in the chamber instead of six. So I needed to reload again, which is more annoying than useful. Okay. Ooh, damn, that is still a f long way. Jesus. How the hell are we crossing this? We could use that road. It's pretty fucking far. Or we use that. Yeah. A boat! That's better. Come on. That's right. Okay, now we're talking. So we're gonna steal a boat. Grand Theft Boto. Okay, so let's go down onto the bridge. Uh, dropping down. And then dropping down again. Let's try through here. And this doesn't seem What's to have that? anything. We take these guys out and steal their boat. Definitely taking their boat. It's up to them if they want to get in our way. Hopefully it's a small crew. Yeah, I hope so too, that we don't need to murder like 10 people again. Um, what is this area supposed to be, by the way? Because it seems like another very large... Ah, this is a coffee shop. Seems like a very large open area. Well, open building, I should say. Uh, with a lot of resources again. But again, I mean, I'm full up. Even with the capacity upgrade of the bombs... <laughs> I just have everything at the moment, so I don't know why I'm scrounging. Probably for collectibles, but I could upgrade the machete. Ah, oh, might as well. Don't have anything else for it, so <laughs> might as well grab the stabbies then. Yep, no explosive stuff I need, so moving on. Place is wrecked. Yeah, we're going down again. Um, but other than a few normal resources, like so crafting materials, there's not much here. I could use a few bullets if I really want to go all in and just have everything full up, but other than that, there's nothing else that could really interest me, aside from collectibles and more stuff, but I'm really good right now. Up you go, move everything out of the way. Look at that teamwork. So again, we couldn't have done this without Chessie, because there's way too many moving parts here. I keep holding triangle as well. There we go. And then, water in a very dark space. This is not creepy at all. Okay, going down again. Can I turn that on underwater? Yeah, okay, so I can follow Jessie along. Doesn't seem like fast swimming actually works here, but... Ooh, crap. You four, take the land bridge to the marina. The rest of you, we hold here and wait for orders. What the fuck? We're supposed to wait here while our guys are being sniped? We have our orders. So I'm guessing that that sniper is going to be Tommy because we had the sniping tutorial with Tommy as well. Can I, uh, Jesse? Can I? Can I get the the rope? Ah, there we go. Now we get the prompt. Am I going to have to shoot people from the rope? Why is it turning that? Yeah, it's turning that direction, so I don't need to look behind me, right? This is stupid. Are you gonna shoot me in the back? No. 
Okay. There's one guy. But he's alone. We can get to the marina through here. No, we're taking the boat. You heard them, right? They're talking about Tommy. We don't know that. Who else is it gonna be? If it is him, he'll be gone by the time we get there. Abby is where he'll be headed, so if we just What fall, if he's in trouble? He can take care of himself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not what you said. Tommy is to go after Abby. No, it's not. I'm with Jesse on this one. You do this, I'm not saving your ass again. I really hope you make it. There we go. Jesse realizes that Ellie basically lied. She does want to go after Abby at all costs, so even if that means leaving Tommy behind. So... I mean, you could... Oh, you could... You could snipe him from up there. Got the engine back, huh? Where should I put in? Okay, so he's leaving. We sent four soldiers to the marina. Copy, Gamma. We'll pass the info to command. Stand by for further instructions. Over. Copy, base. You think this affects the lead? Okay, so we can. Swim underneath. But that's basically it. This is dumb. We should be out there looking for And they left some ammo behind. You think they're working with the scars? They're not just trying to get through the city. I don't care who they are. I just want them found. Okay, with the mannequins, this is making that a little bit tricky. Yeah, this is this is not great, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Kinda lost the silence on the first shot there, so kinda forgot about that. Let's just keep the shotgun ready. Should probably go over here. Don't let her escape! She went over there! So let's run over here. Seems to be more of a corner. Are there any guys coming in this direction? Wait. Oh, right here. God damn you. Okay. So he just went. Came from over there. And I should probably just go up here then. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. How the hell did you. How the hell did you recover from a shotgun blast that quickly? So there was, there was, there was one down here. So I think, oh, oh, why, why, why? Okay, this isn't good. You fucking bitch. Um, I'm going through all of my shotgun bullets here. Where is everyone? There we go. Shot her in the face, and then there's another one. And then grab her and stab her in the face. Ooh, that's a that's a new animation. And there's at least one more. I'm really stuck here. <laughs> Can't really go anywhere without them actually spotting me. Should probably grab a health kit that heals me up to full. And then. Okay. Where the hell did he come from? No, no, that's not. A she said okay. Why are you? Why are you saying okay when it's not okay, Ali? There we go. He just got an arrow in the face. Oh, I didn't pull it far enough. There we go. That's in her face. There we go. And stab him in the face. Damn, I killed a lot of dudes and women. Man and women. Man and women.
Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. But that was good. Ah, that was my final Lego. Ellie, do you have an idea whether that was the last one or not? It's another arrow over there. Oh, wait, there's another one all the way over there in the back. Holy crap. Okay, so there's one down there. But I think if I just do... I think I got spotted by something else, right? Ah, there we go. There we go. There was one over there as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Just pop up. There we go. That's another one down. Right. Okay. Boat. Okay. Whew. Damn. Okay. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of dudes. Can I grab the arrow from her corpse? I'm pretty sure I shot her in the face. Okay, not. Explosives. Yes, we're going to have to craft a few things. I didn't actually use that much. I could craft another health kit, but it's not even necessary. No, I think I'm fine, actually. So let's just grab whatever we can. Okay, done with looting. So uh, this is a, a rather big area, by the way. So this must have been a mall before, but uh, found the boat. It's down there. Seems to be abandoned as well. So this guy must have just moved it out of the way. Unless that was a different boat, that might also be an option. I know, game, stop giving me hands. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Lost of Us Part 2. And when we get back, we're going to go on a boat. Hell yeah. See you guys next time. Goodbye.